Hello, I'm Keenan Budd. And I'm Marin Murdoch. And our project that we've been working on is through FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, and it's the American Enterprise Project. And the goal of the project is to promote an awareness of the American Enterprise system in our community or school. And so to do this, we looked into the needs of our community and found that there was huge residential growth. However, there wasn't enough business growth to meet that residential growth. And so what we decided to do to support current businesses within the area, as well as bring new businesses into our community, was to start that Harriman Chamber of Commerce. And as we set out, we met with city officials, we met with the mayor, we met with different board people from the Chamber of Commerce that was currently over Harriman. We met with Val Hale of the governor's office of economic development within our state. We met with all these people, but we also got some publicity from KUTV. So we'll actually show you that video right now. Well, they may just be teenagers, but these three high school students are helping to actually change a city, Harriman City to be exact. Yeah, tonight we take you inside the story of these Harriman High students who are hoping to put a new face on the city they love. Are we going to call them back? Watching these three we need to talk to South Jordan. teenagers at work is, she coming is, tonight? is quite an experience. Let me check my sent email. What high school kids? Because we don't want to have an actual contract. Talk like this. That's also on that collaborative proposal. But, really but what you're witnessing are the brains behind the beginnings of the new Harriman City Chamber of Commerce. Yes, three teenagers who can be seen walking the halls of Harriman High School every day. We didn't want to really run with that idea. Are actually meeting with city leaders to organize Harriman City's first Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I didn't know that businesses could listen to high school students or uh, take us very seriously. Harriman, which is located on the southwest side of the Salt Lake Valley, is one of the fastest growing cities in Utah. In the last four years, they've seen a 31% growth in population. It is a very fast growing city. But it's also relied on the South Valley Chamber of Commerce to help promote its businesses and attract new ones. We're going to work with South Valley. We'd like to cooperate with them, but we want to have a more local focus in Harriman. All because of a PowerPoint presentation. So the Juliana Wing, the head of the school's business department and the advisor to the teens, says it all started with an idea for the American Enterprise Project, a competition put on by the future business leaders of America. They're just amazing students who have taken this opportunity that was in front of them and just ran with it. It'll just kind of be an open discussion. Kind of. The teens are now meeting with the mayor and city leaders to get the chambers like set up. I'm just thrilled. I want to hug them and just express my appreciation for their willingness to reach out and do something beyond, above and beyond what their high school is requiring. They've been really impressed with all the work we've done and all of the effort we've put in. But of course, these are just teenagers we're talking about here. So eventually, they'll leave high school and also the city of Harriman. So who will be taking over the reins at the Chamber of Commerce? Well, they have a plan for that. They'll turn it over to the board they've created. If we have someone who is representing our city. Keenan Budd, Marin Murdoch, so and Hannah Peterson. Three teens who are proof that the future is in good hands. This project has given me the opportunity to work in the real world and feel like I'm making a difference when I'm still in high school. Yeah, pretty amazing kids here. The kids are taking this so seriously that they've even met with the governor's right-hand man over economic development. They've also spoken at city council meetings and are constantly meeting with the mayor to make sure everything is done correctly. If all goes according to plan, they hope to have that chamber up and running in another month. So as you can see, we've put a lot of work and effort into this project, and we actually took it to our FBLA program to the state competition and placed first in the entire state of Utah. So what that means for us is we get to go and take that project to the national competition, which is in Atlanta, Georgia this year in July, and we'll compete with that project there and try to win nationally. And through our publicity, we've received Senator Mike Lee, the Utah Senator, actually heard about our projects. So we're going to get to meet with him in a couple weeks and talk to him about our project. So we're really excited about that opportunity as well. We've had a lot of fun competing in this project as well as just executing it. And we are super excited and we hope you are too. Thank you.